welcome to the third of January 2021. Happy New Year to you. My name is Teacher Grace. My name is Malkia Oswald. And welcome to this service for the six to nine year olds. Let's pray. Dear everlasting Father, I come before you this day. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Please help us to learn the, uh, something in this service this day and let us keep this in our heart. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now boys and girls, get up on your feet and let us join the praise and worship team. God is good all the time. Boys and girls, welcome to our service. Thank you, music team, for leading us in a time of worship. Let us get to a time of praying together. Everlasting Father, we are so grateful that you brought us into a new year, 2021. We present ourselves to you that God, you may take us through even into the next level. We present our needs this, this year. We present our parents. Uh, we present our country. We present the church before you, O oh God. We present even ourselves and our schooling that God, you will carry us through on ego's wings. We pray that you will provide for us. You will take care of us. You will protect us and you will guide us through. We pray that Holy Spirit, you will guide us 
us in every step of the way and help us to be obedient in every step of the way, following you, O Lord Jesus, wherever you lead us. And so we pray that this year will bring about good things to us and our loved ones. We pray that you will help us even as we hear the New Year's message through our teacher, Abba Father. You will help us to understand your word. This is our prayer in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 And amen. Thank you, Pastor George, for taking time in leading us in time of prayer and intercessory. And to the worship team, thank you, choir. Children at home, can we clap for them? Awesome. And also to the teacher who helped our choir to practice the song. You've done a well good job. My name is Teacher Rehema, and I'm so excited to be with you here. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's a new year. It's a new beginning. We are in 2021. Now, boys and girls, how was your Christmas? Did you guys travel? Or did some of your relatives visited you this season? Mm-hmm. What did you do? You had a lot of fun. I thank God personally for myself and for my family. We had a very wonderful time with them during this Christmas. Now, boys and girls, it's, I said what? New Year. Do you have your Bibles ready for today's lesson? Mine is here. Do you have your notebooks? Uh-huh. And what else? A pen. Yes, you got it right. Can we get ready for today's lesson? And I want you to look at the picture that is showing on your screen. And for those who are listening to us on radio, it's a picture of a tree. Yes, there's a tree there. And there is a ladder and some boys and girls who are climbing up to the top of the tree. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So it's the ladder that have helped these boys and girls to climb up. In our today's lesson, we are going to see how Jesus can help us to move from one level to another. And our topic is destined for the next level. And it's not only the topic, but it is also the theme of the year 2021. And it's also going to be our series for the next five weeks. So what did I say the topic is all about? I can't hear you. Have you written it on your notebook? Or you can even share and uh, comment on our Facebook there. Uh -huh. What did I say? Awesome. Destined for the next level. What is to be destined? To be destined is already planned for something or for a particular cause. The word of God in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to give you hope and future, says the Lord. So it's not a new thing that we've just come up with. It's something that God has put in our hearts that this year we are going to experience another level in our lives. Can we open the book of Isaiah chapter 43? Because this is where our theme for this year and our topic is coming from. Are we there yet? Uh -huh. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. And this is what the word of God says. 
But the Lord said, do not cling to the event of the past or dwell on the what happened long ago. Watch for the new thing I am going to do. It is happening already. You can see it now. I will make a road through the wilderness and give you streams of water there. So in case someone asks you, the theme of 2021, where you got it from the Bible, you will quote Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19. Are we okay? Mm -hmm. So to continue with our lesson and on our Bible story, it's coming from the book of John, chapter 4. Can we open our Bible in the book of John, chapter 4? Are you there yet? Mm -hmm. I know that this story is familiar to every one of us. And you must have heard it several times. But today we are going to learn something that will take us to the next level that God has desired us for. Let us read. The Pharisees heard that Jesus was winning and baptizing more disciples than John. So, Jesus heard what was being said. He left Judea and went back to Galilee. On his way, he had to go through Samaria. In Samaria, he came to a town named Sakar, which was not far from the field Jacob had for to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. In case you are asking what a well is, long time ago, people used to have boreholes that were dug by their hands. People used to dug with their hands. It's not like nowadays. So it's a big hole, deep, and you get water down on the ground. And so, so Jesus was tired. And he sat down by the well. It was about noon, very hot. The sun was very, very shining. Then a Samaritan woman came to draw water. And Jesus said to her, Give me a drink of water. His disciple had gone into town to buy some food. But the woman was surprised. And in fact, he asked Jesus, So how can you ask me for a drink? Do you know why, boys and girls? Because Jesus was a Jew and this, uh, the woman was a Samaritan. So Jews and Samaritan will not use the same cup and bowl. Jesus answered, if only you know, you knew what God gives, who it is that is asking you for a drink, you would ask him and he would give you living water. Boys and girls, this woman was surprised. In fact, he said to Jesus, can I have the drinking water? That life drinking water. What do you think happened? Let's watch the video and listen what exactly happened. The woman was confused. She said, Sir, this well is deep and you don't have a bucket. Where do you get this living water? Jesus said, Anyone who drinks this well water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water I give will never be thirsty again. In fact, the water I give will become a well inside you and you will have eternal life. Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit, but the woman did not understand. Sir, she said, give me this water. If I'm not thirsty, I won't have to keep coming to this well to get water. Go get your husband, Jesus said. I don't have a husband, the woman replied. Jesus knew she was telling the truth. He said, you don't have a husband now, but you've had five husbands. Jesus was right. I see you are a prophet, the woman said. Maybe this prophet could explain something to her, she said. The Samaritans worship here on a mountain. 
but the Jews say we need to worship at the temple in Jerusalem. Jesus said, Soon you will not need to be in either of those places to worship God in spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus said, I am the Messiah. The woman left and told the people in her town, Come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? Many Samaritans believed in Jesus because of what the woman said. Jesus stayed in their town for two days. Many more believed because of what Jesus said. They told the woman, We no longer believe because of what you said, for we have heard for ourselves and know that this really is the Savior of the world. Boys and girls, what lesson are we getting from this story? Do you remember the ladder? It helped the children to go up the tree. Did you see Jesus who helped the Samaritan woman who came to the well at noon when no one was there? To be able to know him, Jesus was the reason that helped the woman move from one level to another. How? Jesus revealed the things that this woman was afraid of. That was, the woman was afraid of what people would say about her because of her past mistakes. The woman who didn't have any friends, she was lonely. And the woman was rejected by people because of those past mistakes. But what did Jesus do at that well? Jesus loved everybody. In fact, he loved this Samaritan woman. Not because of where she was coming from, but because he is God. He doesn't choose the race or the color of your skin. Or he doesn't even look at your past mistake once you realize that he's God. So how can you and me move to the next level? Read the Isaiah 43 verse 18. What does it say? But the Lord said, do not cling to the event of the past or dwell on what happened long ago. God is saying, forget the former things. Could you be in the same situation this Samaritan woman was in? Maybe you did something bad that you are afraid to face your friends. Maybe it's you are struggling with your subject in school to get good grades. Or it could be even because of this long time that you stayed home, you've changed school, you are going to a new school, and you are afraid of how people will look at you. And it can also be those bad habits, the things that we do, like lying, disobeying our parents and even mocking or make fun of people. Today, Jesus is telling us, forget the former things. Do not dwell in the past. And his desire is for you to be destined to the next level. What else are we learning? Number two, the woman invited Jesus Christ into her heart when she said, give me this living water. You need to invite Jesus. 
she saw a new thing. She saw she got an opportunity to have a new friendship with Jesus. Do you remember Isaiah, our theme verse? What does it say? Watch for the new thing I am going to do. It is happening already. So this woman received a new friendship. You too need to invite Jesus in your heart so that you can experience another level in your life. Number three, boys and girls, we need to confess our past mistakes. You remember the woman when she was asked by Jesus to go and call her husband? She said, truly, I don't have a husband. And that's what Jesus is calling you and me and all of us to admit our wrongs to confess our sins so that we can move to the next level. Are you there? Are you there and you are stuck? You have never confessed to the things that you did in the past. You have never even forget the things that other people did for you. And you have never, ever invited Jesus in your heart. 2021, it's a year that you and me and everybody else have been destined to the new and the next level. You need to receive Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life for you to go to the next level. Will you pray with me? Okay. Close your eyes and pray this prayer. Trusting and believing that you are receiving a new thing today. Lord Jesus, I come to you. I pray that you forgive me of all my sins. Wipe my name in that dark book and write my name in the book of life. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are the Son of God who died for my sins. And today, I accept you to be my Lord and my Savior. To trust you to take me to the next level. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you have found the new thing in your life. And that is friendship with Jesus. Correct. And there are some of the other children who have already given their life to Jesus. But on their way, they forgot to confess their sin. They also forget to forgive others. And sometimes they even forget to confess their sin. The word of God says, in the book of Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13, you will not succeed, succeed, succeed in life if you hide your sin. Confess them and give them up and God will show you mercy. We need to confess. We need to forget and also not only to forget our past failure, our past uh, mistakes, our past, uh, sometimes you feel as if you are not uh, uh, suitable for something. You also need to forget the people who have sinned and made wrong to you so that you can go to the next level. 
can we now pray together and commit our life for this new year that God has destined us to the next level. Dear Jesus, we thank you for choosing us. Thank you for the love that you have upon us, that your desire this year is to take us to the next level. Lord, we are forgetting our past. We are forgiving people who have sinned against us. And we say sorry for every mistakes and every sin we have committed. Give us a new start as you destined us to the next level. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Now you are already destined for the next level. And for a memory verse, it's easy. What did I say our theme comes from? I want you to share with the person seated next to you. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18. What does it say? Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Again, for our memory verse, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. And to help us remember the theme of this year and the memory verse that we will carry this year until next year, December, we are going to make a ladder. You will need manila paper like this. Cut them so nicely in this shape. There is a reason why. You can make, mine I'm supposed to make nine. You can make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you will need a string. I know you guys, you've been doing a lot of craft work with Uzis. So you need a string like this. You can twist it the way you want. Then you will need a what? A glue. And after that, you are going to write the memory verse using your marker pen. And the first one will be what? The book of our memory verse or the book of our theme this year, 2021. And which book is that? Keep writing it on the comment section. Correct. Then those nine cut paper, after you've written every verse, you are going, every paper, you are going to write a word. I want to show you what I've done. This is simply of what I'm explaining. See my craft. Does it look like a ladder? Oh, yes. And you can also hang it in your favorite place. Throughout this year, when you wake up, or when you go out, it will be the first thing you see. So, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18. What does it say? Forget. So, you write forget the first one. The, the second, the, the third one. Former, the fourth, things. Fifth, do not, six, dwell, seven, on the eighth. Past nine. And then you can also put this one to remind you. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18. It says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. And guess what? I want you this time to move to the next level. Make it as beautiful as you can. You see mine? 
I've made even a flower. Make it to the next level that God has enabled you. And then send them to your pastor or to your Sunday school. And we pray by the grace of God, we'll be able to show them as much as we can on TV. Boys and girls, join us next Sunday as we continue with this series on destiny for the next level. It was a good time that I've spent with you. And I thank God for each and every one of you. May God bless you and may God keep you. Until next time, see you. Bye and happy new year. Be positioned to the next level. Bye.